Today we're installing a Madjax Ultimate Light Kit designed for an EasyGo TXT. Included in this kit, the headlights and the taillights, as well as a new upgradable harness. You also get a horn, as well as a brake pad, brand new turn signal assembly, hazard switch, and a column cover. To do this, we're going to use a socket, a cutting tool, two cordless drills, a number two Phillips tip, a drill bit, and a multimeter. We'll also use safety equipment. Before we begin installing our light kit, we're going to go over the new upgrade harness. You'll notice on each end of the harness you have a red and a white three pin connector that goes to your headlights and taillights. The red one will go to the passenger side, headlight and taillight. A little further down from that, you'll notice a purple and black female spade connector. This will go to your new horn for your upgrade. Down from the horn, you'll have a nine pin connector. This attaches to the turn signal assembly. Down from the nine pin connector, you'll notice your hazard switch. This has a red and a blue wire. A little further down from that, you'll see orange, black, and yellow wire. These go to your brake pad. Next, you'll see the battery terminals. These hook up the light kit to the battery. And then the last thing on your upgrade harness is the passenger and tail light. Three pin connectors, again, the red goes to the passenger. It's a lot longer as well. And that's it. Now that you're familiar with the harness, we're going to install it under the cart. To begin our installation, we're going to run our harness from the front of the cart to the back of the cart, starting with our tail lights, followed by our ring terminal. And we're going to feed these through so where they're up inside the frame. And we're going to come up in our battery well. You want to continue to feed your harness into the battery well until your brake pad wires are even with the brake pedal, just like this. Once your wire and harness for your brake pad is even with your brake pedal, then you can stop feeding your loom through your frame. Now you can take some ties and attach your harness to the frame so that it doesn't snag. Once your harness is secure under the frame, you can take the front harness and run that into the front tire well and secure. Now we can install our headlights and taillights. Our first step, we're gonna drill out the hole for our front driver's side headlight. We have taped our template up along the ridges in the front cow. Once you're happy with your template, we're going to mark the inside with a marking pin. Now using our safety glasses, we're going to drill our pilot hole on the inside of our template line. Now using our cutting tool, we're going to cut out our headlight. Now we're going to remove the template. Be sure to keep your template. We're going to use this on the other side of the golf cart. We're also going to take our cutting tool and remove this trim so that our light fits easier. Now before we trim up any more, we're going to test our light and make sure it fits. Fits perfect. We don't need to take any more off. Once we have our light drilled out, we're going to take a little bit of sandpaper 
and clean up our cut. Place our headlight in. Using the screws that were provided in your kit, we're going to attach our front headlight. We're going to leave our harness hanging. We're going to attach that in a minute. We're going to repeat this whole process on the passenger side of the car. Now we're going to run our tail light wires. Remember the red goes to the passenger and the white goes to the driver. Using the measurements provided on your template, we have marked our spots and taped our template to our rear body. Now we're going to use our marking pen trace out our inside line. Using our safety glasses again. We're going to drill a hole, pilot hole in the corner. Once we have our pilot hole drilled, now we're going to use our cutting tool. Now that we have our hole cut out, we're just going to clean up our cut. Go ahead and attach your rear tail light wire harness. And use the screws that provided to mount it. Once we have our tail light mounted to our body, we can take the loose slack and the wire harness and secure it. Then we can repeat this entire process on the driver's side of the golf cart. Now we're going to install our turn signal assembly. What we're going to do is remove the screws on the back side. You'll notice on your turn signal assembly harness, you have a 9 pin connector, a 12 volt flasher, and a push pull hazard switch. We're going to take a number two Phillips tip and remove the screws on the back side of the turn signal assembly. Now you're going to take your turn signal assembly, feed it over your column. Might have to adjust your screws a little bit. I like to keep my turn signal a couple inches away from the steering wheel. Once you're comfortable where your turn signal is, you can go ahead and attach your turn signal assembly to your column. Once that's secured, you can take your turn signal cover, snap it onto your turn signal like that, then use your column cover Feed your harness into it first, and then snap it in over your column. Now that our column cover is attached, we're going to drill a hole out in the front dash to feed our turn signal assembly harness through. To make that easier, we're going to remove the 12 volt flasher, as well as the push-pull hazard switch. Now we're ready to run our harness through our front dash. First thing we're going to do is remove the cup holders. Now we're going to drill a pilot hole 
and the bottom of our cup holder panel. Be sure to use safety eyewear. Now that we have our pilot hole drilled, we're going to take our cutting tool and make a hole big enough to feed our harness through. The best way to do it is to feed your 9 pin connector through first, then your flasher plug, and then finally your hazard switch plug. Now we're ready to drill the hole out for our push-pull switch. Now that we have our hole drilled, we're going to remove our push-pull switch hazard knob and the top nut. We want to feed the push-pull switch through the hole and then use the nut you removed to tighten. Now you can reattach your knob. Now that we have our push-pull switch installed, we can reattach our 12-volt flasher. We're also going to go ahead and plug in our 9-pin from our turn signal assembly to the 9-pin on our harness. Now that we have our 9-pin connector and our flasher reattached, we're going to take the purple wire that comes from our turn signal assembly and plug this in to the blue wire that's on our harness. This is going to feed the power to your turn signal assembly, which will then feed your lights and your blinkers. The red wire is not used. These two yellow wires are what run to your hazard switch. We just need to attach those now. Once this is done, we can reattach our cup holders. Now we're going to attach our horn and our brake pad to our harness. Using the purple and the black female spade connectors. You can plug these into the horn. It does not matter which one plugs onto what terminal. Now that you have those attached, you can find two factory bolts and mount your horn, or you can use self-tapping screws as well. You need to find a safe location up out of the way so this doesn't get snagged and secure. Now we're going to attach our brake pad to our harness using the female and male bullet connectors. The black spade terminal is not used. We're also going to take some ties and we want to secure this leftover harness so that it doesn't get caught. Now that we have our brake pad and our horn attached to the harness, we're going to attach our brake pad to our brake pedal using the small screws that's provided in the kit. Now that our brake pad's attached, we're going to hook up our harness to our battery terminals and we're done. Now we're ready to attach our harness to our batteries. We're going to switch the card in the tow. We've already used our multimeter and found our 12 volts. If you have an 8 volt battery pack, you need to use a Magjack 16 to 12 volt reducer. We have a 6 volt battery pack system. We're going from the positive here to the negative here. It gives us 12 volts. Red to the positive, black to the negative. Now that we have our harness attached to our batteries, you're now finished installing your Mad Jacks Ultimate Light Kit designed for an EasyGo TXT.